Power. We all crave it. We all want it. And some of us actually need it. Especially those of us filming with GoPros cameras. It's like the number one subject I see being brought up again and again. How can I make my camera film for longer? How can I increase filming times? Why are you so mean to people, Demon View? Okay, that last one is entirely dependent on my caffeine level. When I'm fully caffeinated, you get the nice Demon View who's full of love, caring, and understanding. So if you like that Demon View, feel free to buy me a coffee anytime and keep me caffeinated. Buy me a coffee. It'll keep these videos coming and improve the jokes. Maybe. So with that out of the way, let's talk about power. And today we're going to be looking at a brand new battery pack for the GoPro Hero 9, 10, 11, and 12. Because, you know, battery tests are my favorite tests to do. But what makes this battery pack different than the others is that this one claims to be waterproof down to 33 feet and will last you for nine hours. So is it true? Will it stand up to the Demon View test? Well, let's find out. So hey, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is Demon View. Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel and I'm glad to be back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I just came back from a cross-country drive driving all the way from Toronto, Canada to Portland, Oregon and doing it in just under three days. So yeah, this week has been pretty tiring, but now that I'm back, um, normal-ish service has been resumed. And today we're going to be looking at this. This is the refuel extended GoPro battery for the Hero 9, 10, 11 and 12. Uh, these are in pretty high demand at the moment, and even though I ordered this battery back on March 4th, it didn't get delivered until May 24th. I mean, wow, that's that's a pretty long delay for the refuel battery pack. And uh, why such a delay? Well, if you've ever watched professional TV productions like Top Gear, The Grand Tour, or any show that uses GoPros for secondary pickup shots where they require long-lasting batteries that are waterproof, this is what they're using. I mean, this is the professional camera battery that production teams try to get for their cameras for those essential pickup shots. So demand for these is through the roof right now, and we're going to examine why the demand is so high and whether or not this battery lives up to the hype. So let's take a look at what's inside this package, what comes as standard, and how to attach to your GoPro camera after you click those like and subscribe buttons. I work hard to make these videos for you and they cost quite a bit of money to put together. And this ranges from production elements such as lighting, audio, editing, software and hardware and to the actual items I review. This is not a sponsored review. I had to buy this with my own hard earned cash. And I do that so you can decide whether or not you want or need this item. So I spend my money so you don't have to. So you can simply help by clicking those like and subscribe buttons below. It helps out with channel views. It gets these reviews seen by more people and then YouTube has to pay me for my fine efforts. In return, you get the honest truth about items I review with non-biased reviews, and it doesn't cost you a penny, so click those like and subscribe buttons to help out today. So with that, let's open this package and see what we've got inside. Okay, so here we have the refuel battery pack, a nine hours extended battery case. Now it does say here compatible with the Hero 9, 10, 11, and 12. I believe on the Amazon page though, it says, uh, 9, 10, 11, probably because the Amazon page description hasn't been updated. But uh, let's take a look what's inside. It opens quite nicely. It's got a, like a little magnetic seal in it, which I like on my cases. And no, it does not come with a camera. This is a fake camera, which I might be able to have some fun with that later. But as you can see, waterproof, uh, IP68 rated. And uh, it does claim that it's waterproof down to 33 feet. We might be testing that at some stage. We have little screw on legs. It tells you it's compatible with these GoPro attachments. These GoPro attachments do not come with the battery pack. It's just for illustrative purposes. Shows us that we have two uh, cold shoes on the camera too, one on top and one on the side. And this is I like, it's got a USB charge port on the outside. Other battery packs I've reviewed, you've pretty much have to take them apart. Uh, if you have the camera mounted in there, you have to remove the camera and everything to get to the charge port. This apparently has a charge port on the outside, which is something I like. And it just seems to open up on the side and the camera slides in. So we'll be testing this with the GoPro Hero 11, by the way. Um, there's a reason for that. I'll get around to it later. But uh, yeah, I am testing it with the 11. So let's see what happens when I open up this fella. So I'm going to remove the uh, sticker from the bottom like that and open it like so. Just nice and carefully and slide out the contents. And look how 
easily that slides out. Sliding action from Demon View. Uh, we seem to have a little bit of paper in here. Let's see what that is. You can see cardboard box, quite nice packaging. I really do like that. Very shiny on the outside. And oh, here's another bit on the back of it. Designed for extreme cold temperatures, 23 degrees or minus five degrees Celsius and extreme heat conditions up to 43 degrees Celsius. So that's good. I mean, I think that's pretty much maybe in line with the Enduro batteries that GoPro give you. Um, so this here is a user guide. So it basically tells you in various languages how to uh, use the action pack, how to put it all together and uh, how to charge it, etc. And yeah, actually for fastest charging, use a two amp, 10 watt power supply, not included. And uh, you can install it. Oh, actually, this actually says you can use the camera's internal battery, but I'm not going to be doing that for my tests. For my tests, I'm going to be removing the internal camera battery and just be powering it based on the battery pack itself. As you can see, this actually is just a hollow piece of uh, cardboard bits meant to look like a GoPro camera to show you how it all fits together. Uh, first thing I noticed, this is actually kind of weighty. I do like that. Usually if you have a battery pack and it's very light, it means the battery is probably not a very good battery. It's probably a cheapo, but this one actually feels kind of heavy and sturdy, well built. We do have this uh, cold shoe on the side so you can attach your light in there. Uh, you know, if you have like a light screwed onto here, you just put in then your little cold shoe adapter, if I can straighten this up. Slides in, you can mount even a microphone on the side of here light on the top because we have another one here on the top as well that just slides in like so tighten it up not a problem it's got the standard feet now if you look here these are actually thumb screws you can unscrew those if you need to remove the feet for any reason i can't imagine why you'd want to but i know some people actually do mount their cameras using a cold shoe adapter at the top which is a cold shoe adapter to gopro fitter fitting so if they just want to hang their camera down instead of you know filming upside down which people do do if they are live streaming and they don't want an upside down image. So on the side here, we have the door to the charging port. Now this is kind of stiff, but as you can see, it's got a nice big rubber seal in there and it closes with a set of slang click. And on the other side, then we have the door. So pop that up. Then that just opens like so. That's, that's quite an interesting mechanism. As you can see, just a bit of cardboard there. And inside we have the USB-C port where your camera will attach to to keep it powered. I presume, let's see, I wanna check something here. There's an on-off switch on the side with LEDs. And as you can see, it's got one LED lighting up, which means this fella is in charge, which means I have to charge this before I do a battery test. Let's put the GoPro in. So I'm using the GoPro Hero 11 here, I'm just gonna take off the side door. I'm going to take the battery out because like I said, I'm just going to power this off the camera battery and you would just then slide this feller in like so. Now, the reason I'm removing this uh, internal battery, like I said, I want to see how long this lasts just by itself, no help from the GoPro battery. But um, another thing is it tends to help with overheating if you're filming for long periods of time, which I never do, but I will be doing for this test. Um, you could leave the battery in it if you short film properly, which is in short kind of bursts, because then I highly suspect this would actually recharge your battery for you and you would get longer filming times. Now that that's in there, oops, just gonna close that over and just flap shut. Pop the latch on and uh, yeah, that's rather simple to use. Okay, so I'm gonna charge this fella up. Um, the only other thing this came with is course a small USB-C cable for charging your battery pack but that seems to be pretty much everything you need <laughs> I really do like that a nice little fake GoPro thing yeah I think I could have some fun with this you know crush it and tell people I broke a camera live on air <laughs> so let's get this bad boy charged okay so this is charging right now it's got little LEDs on the side to tell you you know the state of charging it may take a while um, yeah, one of the things I'm liking about this already is that I can feel there's quite a good seal around the camera and yeah, this might actually be waterproof. The only way to test it, of course, would be to dunk this whole thing in a giant bucket of water and test it, which 
yeah, I might just have to do for you guys, but we'll wait until it's fully charged. So if anything goes wrong, we'll fry things completely. It makes it more interesting. But yeah, I mean, you can see why um, these camera battery packs are in such high demand by production professionals. The waterproof ceiling really does let them expose these cameras to all elements, rain, sleet, snow, and even underwater shots, all without the need for a separate heavy waterproof case to go around it all. Um, the whole thing is a waterproof case. I mean, honestly, I wish I'd had this on my cross-country drive. I mean, being able to film without a case would have been fantastic. However, there's still one thing we need to look at, and how does it perform? So, when this charges up, we'll find out. Now, the specs on this does claim it will film for 9 hours in 1080p, 24 frames per second, and I have no I, uh, doubt that that's in ideal conditions too. It also says it will film for 5 hours in 4K, 30 frames per second, and that's what I'm going to test. It's a popular resolution and what a lot of people actually use, so that's what I'm going to do when I test this camera. So for this test, I'm going to be putting the camera into 4K 30 frames per second. Since the camera is mounted and staying still, I'm turning off hyper smooth because it's not needed. I'm also going to use the H7 aspect ratio so there's no digital cropping added. Uh, the rear screen is going to be set to 10% brightness and to power off after one minute. After all, I'm not using the rear screen. I'm not going to be sitting there for five hours watching the camera record. I will be leaving the LED lights turned on just so I can see the camera is recording from a distance or as I walk by. Um, I'm removing the internal battery and powering from the battery pack alone. I'm also leaving the GPS and wireless turned on, as most people tend to do this. And even though the GPS isn't needed, the camera isn't moving, it's staying still. However, since these cameras and battery packs are used for professional car productions, I'm leaving the GPS option turned on because people would be using that for reference. And because of all this, I'm going to be using the GoPro Hero 11 as the 12 doesn't have GPS. So technically, this could mean the Hero 12 would last a little bit longer in the battery pack, but we're going to test it with the Hero 11 just because it's got probably the better average power draw. So let's see what happens. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the results of the recording from the battery test. Now, this is in 4K 30 frames per second, and I would love to tell you that this lasted five hours, but it didn't. And what actually happened was it just lasted under three hours. Now, like I said, that's running from the battery pack without the GoPro's internal battery. So if we were to add in probably about the one hour 47 I can usually get out of the uh, GoPro, then yeah, this could really kind of land in the five hour time frame. Now, the thing is, uh, when I, I record with the battery in the GoPro, what usually happens for me is that the camera will run off the internal battery, run it all the way down to zero. The camera will power off and then it will start charging from the external power supply. So whether or not this happens with this battery pack, yeah, I don't know yet. I think it's kind of very likely to happen, but I will run a separate test just to make sure. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that lasting three hours is pretty impressive, especially since it's a waterproof uh, battery case. Uh, in this case, it did rain during this test and the camera was still functional. It seemed to hold up to the weather just fine. So yeah, I have to say I am actually pretty impressed with it as an external battery. I'm just not sure I can get five hours out of it. Now, I will be performing more tests on this and I'll update the test with some short videos on my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, as I kind of wrangle and finesse the battery, hopefully I will be able to get up to that five hours and be able to give you a definitive yes or no on the specs, uh, whether I can confirm that five hours or not. Also, if you haven't clicked like and subscribe, now is the ideal time to do it because let's face it, this footage is really boring. Okay, so I decided to do one more test and as you can see, this is what I look like after I do a whole bunch of testing. I do not know what the hell was going on with my hair in that previous clip. Wow, that was bad. Anyway, here we go. Uh, here's my final conclusion here. I have no idea what to make of this battery pack. I fully charged uh, this GoPro Hero 11. I left the battery inside it, then fully charged this. Now, if there's a deviation of about, like, say your battery's at 99%, then it starts dropping. I just hit recording this in 4K, 30 frames per second. It's been recording for nearly 10 minutes now. The internal battery is still reading 100%, which means it is being fed from this battery pack. So technically, this battery pack could indeed get me five hours of shooting. Um, like I said, it's now coming up to 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes now. And the battery status hasn't dropped. So yeah, I'm probably just going to leave this recording and see if I can get the full... Uh, 10 hours or sorry five hours out of it in 4k 30 frames per second if that works then 
yes, you could indeed get nine hours of shooting at 10 frame, uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. But uh, where I ran into real difficulties was I accidentally put my Hero 10 in here and had all sorts of kind of like weird connection-y problems. Like it wouldn't charge the battery at all while it was recording. It appears to be doing this with the Hero 11. I highly suspect my Hero 10 might have a slightly dodgy uh, USB-C port and that's why. However, I did notice it was kind of anomalous. Like I have the GoPro Labs firmware on this and it displays a message on the back of the screen telling you what functions are active. And using this, it was kind of off to one side. Like it just almost wasn't getting enough power from this. So I'm really not sure what to make of this, but um, you know, whether it's gonna be 100% reliable or function the way you want to. But for those of us who want a GoPro, it's like, yeah, well, sometimes you just have to troubleshoot. And that seems to be the thing with this battery pack. Remember, it is made by a third party supplier. They don't have like access to the GoPro firmware. It wasn't kind of like co-designed with them. It was somebody saying, right, here's what the GoPro requires power wise. So here's what I'm going to put into it. And well, right now doing this test, it actually seems to be working. And here's a kind of a thing I'm talking about. As you can see, the front screen is on. The rear screen is powering off. Yet both screens should be powering off after one minute. So it it does kind of have a few little issues but um yeah it seems to be functioning well we're coming up to 12 minutes and this ba internal battery is still at 100 percent so yeah is it worth a buy in my opinion look i'm always looking for extended shooting times extended power even if it only got me three hours in 4k without an internal battery for me that's worth it this thing seems to be really really solid it's got a nice like seal around it um, I'm not sure I would bring it diving, be only because I haven't tested it diving. It does claim it's waterproof up to 33 feet. Same as your GoPro without a diving case. And um, for me, I would have absolutely no problem leaving this out in the rain, I think. I've got other extended batteries I would hesitate to use in the rain. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy I purchased this and I am going to use it quite a lot. Uh, especially on like cross-country drives when they're like two or three hours at a time. I know I can film the whole darn thing thanks to this battery, which I would only do on time warp, by the way. If you're filming video for three hours at a time, God help you. So with that, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here and try and get this video uploaded and edited for the weekend. So thank you very much for watching. I, I really do hope you found this useful, seeing what you get in the packet. And oh, now the front screen turns off. That's just weird. So with that, thank you very much for watching and um, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below and I will see you next time with a brand new review. Until then, cheerio.